Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Myers, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the criteria that you need to meet in order to be a candidate for prostate HIFU, or treatment of the prostate cancer with high-intensity focused ultrasound. But first we have to do the legal disclaimer. The medical information supplied within my videos and website are for education only. This information shouldn't be used for personal medical advice that's best obtained from your doctor after a full medical evaluation. For those of you who aren't aware of what prostate HIFU is, prostate HIFU stands for High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. It's an ultrasound treatment that's delivered through a transrectal probe. There's no incisions, there's no radiation, uh, and it's minimally invasive. So what are some of the criteria to qualify for prostate HIFU? The first criteria to tell us uh, whether you're a candidate for prostate HIFU is that you have localized prostate cancer. And what that means is that uh, there's no evidence that the cancer has left your prostate. If the prostate cancer has already left the prostate and entered into the bones or lymph node system outside of the prostate, then treating the prostate alone isn't quite enough. Another criteria to qualify for prostate HIFU is that your prostate gland should be less than 40 to 45 cc's in volume. And that's because the larger your gland is, the more uh, time it takes to treat. And in fact, if it gets if your prostate gland is too large, it just takes too long to treat your prostate with the HIFU. And the larger your gland is, the more swelling there can be, and that will take longer to resolve, and therefore uh, the recovery from the procedure takes a lot longer. So we really try to limit the size of the prostate to 40, to the, uh, 40 grams or less. Another uh, criteria is that there are no large calcifications over one centimeter size in the prostate. This we find when we do prostate biopsies, the ultrasound uh, will tell us if there's large calcium deposits. The problem with calcium deposits is that they do not transmit uh, the ultrasound energy. Yet it, in fact, they reflect or block the energy. And because of that, anything beyond the calcification may not get the treatment that it needs if the calcification is large enough. Small calcifications don't really matter because the ultrasounds can go around, can travel around those, but larger ones create enough of a shadow that we would uh, potentially not be treating tissue beyond the calcification. The other problem with the calcifications is that it can cause reflection of the energy and that energy can reflect back towards the transducer, which can cause uh, high, uh, increased energy delivery to the tissue of the rectal wall or the prostate area that we're not trying to treat. So those are the uh, uh, criteria. You have to have a prostate. First of all, you have to have localized prostate cancer. Your prostate can't be too large, over 40 to 45 grams. And you really shouldn't have any significant large calcifications greater than one centimeter in your prostate in order to qualify. Thank you for your time and attention. And if you want more information, you can go to my website at www.northwesthaifu.com. And on my website, you can find more information about HIFU as well as a patient guide that is made by Sonicare, our partner in HIFU.